All right, here we are again. Uh, we're nearing the end. We're almost done with our JSP recruiters, so let's open them up. Um, and as always, our first step should be click on that options and click enable this content. All right, now that we have done that, um, you should on the left hand side see four things under client, the table, the form, the address report, and the financial report, and then also four things under recruiter, that table, the form, the address report, and the financial report again. Our next step, now that we've got all this data in here, and theoretically we could have a ton more, we want to be able to quickly search this data. Um, presumably we would want to do the same search over and over. Um, we might want a search, for instance, that uh, if we type in a city name, it will spit back all the clients that are in that city. So maybe if I'm one of the uh, salespeople and I'm going to go visit a city, I want to know what, uh, what clients we have there that I need to go visit. Um, so that's actually going to be the first one we do. Now your book does a lot of other queries. Um, we're just going to do a few of them. But all of the ones we're going to do, we're going to use this query design. So click on query design and for this first one, all the information that we want to look up is going to come from that client table. So make sure client is highlighted and then click add. And this little window up here, we can close this now, uh, this little window pops up and it's got all of our different fields from our client table. And notice we've of course got our little key next to our client number. So for this one, I want to look up, um, I want a little query that's going to show me my client number. And notice I'm just double clicking my client name and it's populating down here. I also want my street. This is the other way I can do it. I can click on the little arrow and add street. Um, and I also want the city. So when I go to this query, I'll quickly be able to look up uh, what clients are in what city. Um, now, I'm going to pause here. You don't need to do this, but if I go over to view, you can see quickly my query populates with all of my clients and just the street and the city. If I go back to design view, and this is how we're going to enter a parameter search, we're going to, in square bracket, brackets, put enter city. It really doesn't matter what I, I put in here. It could say enter cool stuff. Um, but that enter key in, in, in uh, brackets, it's going to signify that I need to enter some data for my parameters. So what difference did that make? Well now if I click on view, it's going to give me this little table here that says enter parameter value. Well let's look at what uh, clients I have in Bearridge. Oh, there's two of them. Now I can go visit both of them. Um, if I did it, if I did that again, um, you know, I could type in Fort. I forgot. I think it's. Well, let's just say I type Fort Sumner. There are none in Fort Sumner, so that would give me nothing. Um, if I did Tarleton, I think that's one of ours. Tarleton, and I get the two. Uh, clients that are in Tarleton. So I like that query. I'm going to close it. And of course, yes, I want to save it. And so I'm going to cl call it the client city query. And now anybody could quickly come into our database and say, oh, I need to look up all of the clients that are, I'll just use Bearage again, that are in Bearage. And it'll spit it out for you. So that was our first query. Um, our second query, let's go query design again. It's also going to come all from the client table. So let's open that. Um, this time I want a report that is going to show what clients still owe me. Um, so I want the client number, the client name again. I might want city, state, and zip, but I don't think I really want that. I want the amount paid, and more importantly, the current due. And if I just stop here again and go look at my query, again, I'm going to see all of my clients and all of their current due. But what I really want is for this query to show me just the clients 
that owe me money because I'm greedy. So I'm going to change this criteria. You notice we've got this column called criteria, or sorry, this row called criteria. If under the current due, I say, I just want to search for clients that have a, that meet that criteria of current due is greater than zero. So their current due is greater than zero, then it should display. So let me click on view a second there and sure enough, I lost some of my other clients that don't owe me any money and I have just the ones that owe me money. The last step before I'm done with this query, I want to add some sorting. I want it to list from the person who owes me the most on down to the person who owes me the least. And again, we've got a row that is for sorting and we're going to sort it in a descending order. And so now if I click on view, I see Mound Hospital owes me $43,025. They owe me the most of any of my clients. So perfect. Two down, one to go. Let's save this one and call it the uh, Client Financial. Or let's, no, let's call it Client Due Query. I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. Um, one more we got to create, and this one's a little more complex because this time we want one um, that's going to incorporate data from both the client table and the recruiter table. Now, if you've entered everything correctly, Access is going to recognize that, oh, recruiter number should be tied to recruiter number, and it's going to draw this little line for you. Uh, remember back to day one when we were talking about one to many? Well, recruiter was our one table, and so we included the primary key from the one table into our many table, because for every one recruiter, there were many clients. So Access recognized that and connected those two. And it's really important that they have, when we entered our data types, that they have the same type of data. If this recruiter number is text and this one is an integer, um, Access isn't going to like it very much and it's going to spit back an error message. So it might not be a bad idea to double check that. Um, I happen to know if it draws this line, it probably has the same kind, uh, or it definitely has the same type. If It might not draw the line though if you named these two fields something slightly different. If you recall called one recruiter number and the other one recruiter and then use the number sign. Um, anyway, if it doesn't show up, you can always, so I deleted mine, you can always grab that one, drag it up to the other, and it'll draw that line in for you. And that's how we've connected now the two tables. So in this one, um, again, I'm going to want client number, client name, um, I want amount paid and current due, but I also want to add a column that tells me the total amount that this client is going to spend for the year or how much of a bill they've racked up or how much they've spent over the uh, of, on my services over the year. And I want to call it total amount. But I don't have that. So it's going to be the amount paid plus the current due. And in order to do that, I'm going to right click. I'm going to come down to Zoom. That'll give me this window. And in here, I'm going to first name my column. I'm going to call it total amount. And then I'm going to put a semicolon, oh, sorry, not a semicolon, a colon in there. And then I'm going to tell it what I want to do. And I want to add amount paid plus current due. And it's really important that you use the brackets. It's very important that you use the exact same title that you used right here and right here. So I have amount paid plus current due spelled exactly the same. Otherwise, it won't work quite right. Um, and when I've done that, I can click OK, and if I go to View, notice now I have a total amount column, which is perfect. So I'm going to go back to my design view, and I'm going to add a few things now from my recruiter table. I want the recruiter number, so I know whose client this is, um, and also the last name and first name of that recruiter. So now if I were to view my report, notice I've got... Um, all the things that I wanted, including total amount and the name of and number of the recruiter that I was 
that, that handles that client.